there Earthlings, welcome to this video. So in today's video, I'll show you how to set up a Google AdSense account for your blog or YouTube channel, step by step. Now there are two ways that you can set up an AdSense account. You can either do it through AdSense directly, or you can do it through the YouTube route. However, I find that the YouTube route is easier and it's great to have a YouTube channel to promote your blog posts as well. So this is why I recommend doing it this way. Now, if you have a blog post, you can easily add your website to AdSense after completing this process. Now, before we get started, there are a few questions that I would like to answer just to avoid any confusions. Now, number one, if you're setting up your AdSense account solely for YouTube, you don't need to have a thousand subscribers to monetize your videos. However, since the beginning of April, you'll need to have at least 10,000 views in total on your channel to be able to monetize your videos. So this is a new rule that was introduced by YouTube. Number two, yes, you need to be 18 years and older to set up an AdSense account. So if you're under 18 years old, then get a guardian or a friend or a relative to help you set up AdSense. Sometimes people ask, is Google taking money from me or are they paying me money? Google AdSense pays you money for content that you post on your YouTube channel and on your blogs. Whereas Google AdWords, this is where you pay Google in order to create ads to display on other people's websites or YouTube. So this is the difference. Now YouTube places ads on your YouTube videos automatically. You don't have to do that. Whereas if you have a blog, you need to manually put the ads on your blog. And I'll show you how to do that in this video. And the final thing is, you'll need to make at least $10 to be able to verify your AdSense account and also link your bank account details to Google AdSense. <sighs> so now that we have clarified all this, let's get started. Now I do recommend that you use either Google Chrome or Mozilla, not Internet Explorer, to set up your Google AdSense account because I've had a lot of people complaining that when they use Internet Explorer to set up their AdSense account, it doesn't work. So use Mozilla or Google Chrome to set it up. The first thing that you need to do is create a Gmail email address. So I'm going to just go to Gmail sign up. So I'm typing that in the search area here. And here the first link, create your Google account sign in, click on that. I do recommend that you use legit information because you know Google is going to send you a pin and all of that stuff, they're, they're your employer. So make sure you use legit information. Okay, so I've just completed the form and there's just one thing I'd like to point out and this is your current email address. Now when you're filling out this part here, make sure to use a legit email address. So if it's one that has already been discredited by YouTube in the past, then don't use that. Make sure you create a new email address first with Hotmail, Yahoo or whatever, and then put that in there. So once you've completed this form, hit next step. Of course, it is a good idea to read through the terms and conditions. So I do recommend that. And once you've done that, then click on I agree. So you've basically overcome the first hurdle. And if you go up here to the top right hand corner and hit this icon here with the boxes, you can see that you've already got a YouTube channel, you've got maps, your Google Drive account and lots more Google applications. So it's pretty awesome. That's pretty much what you had to do. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is we wanna go to our YouTube channel. Let's go to YouTube here. Now it says here to sign in again. So just click on sign in and it will automatically sign you in because you've already completed that first step. So next thing we wanna do is go to my channel. All right, so it's asking use YouTube as green pepper. So yes, we, let's do that. Obviously your name will display here. So create channel, voila. This is how easy it is to set up a new YouTube channel. I mean, it couldn't be easier. Literally, it took me five minutes to do this. Okay, so the next step, I'm not gonna add all of the fancy shenanigans here. If you want to know how to set up your YouTube channel in about 10 minutes, I've created a video on this, so check it out in the, the description box. Now, the reason why I recommend that you upload a video before we continue with linking our YouTube channel to AdSense is that we can then monitor if our video is monetized or not. So I do recommend that you upload at least one short video. It can be a minute long or half a minute long, whatever. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go up here to upload. 
I'm gonna go here, select files, and I'm just gonna choose a video on my computer. Okay, so I'm selecting this short video, it's about five seconds long. Open. So my video has finished uploading and now I'm going to publish it. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is just go to our video manager. So down here where it says video manager, click on that. And this is the area where all of the magic happens. So here on the left hand side corner. So the next thing we want to do is click on channel. And the first step is to verify our account. So we're going to do that now. Let's verify our account here. So click on verify. You can either get YouTube to call you with an automated voice message, or you can ask them to text you the verification code. I usually choose the second option here, so text me the verification code. So I've just received the verification code, which I will add into this area here. And that's pretty much it. That's the first step done. You verified your account, so click continue. So the next step is to monetize our videos. So what we need to do is to click on this enable button here where it says monetization just click on that enable next step is to well apply for monetization so let's start click on start here of course it is a good idea to read through the terms and conditions so once you've done that main thing is not to use copyright material and of recent you know it's important to create content that is advertising friendly as well so no content that um, has obscene language violence if you need more information on the YouTube guidelines, I will link it down in the description box. Okay, so once you've read through the terms and conditions, you can click yes, yes, yes. Click all of these boxes and then click I accept. All right, so you've done the first step, which is YouTube partner program terms accepted. Number two, sign up for AdSense. All right, so click start. Now, if you need extra information about how old you need to be to set up AdSense, or how long it takes for your application to get reviewed, then you can click on any of these links here. Okay, so now we're going to click on Next. And now we're going to click on Sign In rather than Create Account. I find this step is really important because a lot of people have messaged me that when they click on Create Account, it sort of takes them somewhere else and they have problems. So click on sign in and use your existing Google Gmail email address that you've just created to follow the process really. So click sign in. And what we're doing here now is we're linking YouTube with AdSense. So it says your website. As you can see, it's automatically added my YouTube link here. So I didn't have to do that manually. And I'm hoping that works for you as well. That's another reason why I recommend that you choose the option sign in rather than create account. Content language English is fine, so save and continue. So I've completed my personal information. I've got my time zone, which is Nairobi. If you can't find your time zone here, then choose something that is close to your time zone because it can be a bit tricky to find your time zone in here, I find. Anyways, I'm an individual, so I've chosen individual. Got my address here. Telephone number, really important that you've put here your telephone number because you will need to verify your Google AdSense account in future or for anything like that. You know, you want to have your own telephone number in here that you can use to verify your account in the future or things like that. Now for AdSense email preferences, I'm just going to click on no here. But of course, if you're interested in any of these, then feel free to click yes. And then submit my application, fingers crossed, and you get to the next step. Next thing again, you've got terms and conditions. So again, you know, read through them. And then once you're happy, click on yes, I've read and accept the agreement and accept. So the next step is complete, which is your AdSense association. So number three, we need to set up monetization preferences. Okay, so let's start. And here it says monetize all existing and future videos. Yes, that sounds pretty good to us, I think. So let's save. So as you can see, it says here, upon reaching 10,000 views, your channel is automatically reviewed to make sure that it complies with the YouTube Partner Program terms and our community guidelines. We'll email you with a decision within a week. So you can expect to get an email from YouTube, from Google AdSense, after you've reached 10,000 views. So now that we have linked our YouTube channel to Google AdSense, the next step that we need to do is to go to our Google AdSense account and add our website. So we can either sign into our Google AdSense account through this um, link here, which was sent to us by email, 
Or another way to get to it is, if we open a new tab, just type in a new tab, Google, and then type in the search area AdSense. And here where it says Google AdSense, click on that. Be aware that I'm already logged in, so I don't need to complete login details again. Okay, so as you can see, my application is currently in review, and I won't be able to link my website details to Google AdSense as of yet. However, I'm expecting this to change in a couple of hours to a day. So it's the next day, I've just checked my AdSense and I can now access my AdSense. Now there are some things that you do need to be aware of. So what I recommend is only submit your blog post to Google AdSense for monetization once you have around about 20 to 30 people visiting your site on a daily basis. Number two, your blog articles need to be at least 500 words in length. So if your blog articles are less than 500 words, usually then you are most likely going to get this approved from Google AdSense. Also, all of your content needs to be original. If you've copied content and put it on your website, then you're most likely going to get this approved as well. And finally, your content needs to be advertising friendly. So it's good to bear all of these things in mind. So I'm just at the Google homepage area. So I'm going to type in the search area AdSense. Mind you, I'm already logged in with my Gmail email address, so I don't have to re-log in. Then I'm going to click on Google AdSense here. Say hello to your new homepage. So this is the dashboard area of your Google AdSense account. And um, what we want to do now is link our website to this account here. And in order to do that, what we need to do is go here to the left-hand side corner and click on Settings. And then click on My Sites. Okay, and then what we can do is click on this plus icon here, and this is where we can add a new website, blog post, anything like that. So it says here, please enter the URL of the site that you would like to add. So I'm just going to put my website, just put in the URL of your website and add site. That's it. Boom. So as you can see, it's already been approved straight away. If you're starting all this new, then it probably will take a couple of days to a week or even longer for AdSense to approve your website. The reason why mine is approved straight away is because this AdSense account is linked to my other AdSense account. So what you need to do now is wait a couple of days to a week, maybe even longer, depending on your content on the website. And um, just keep checking your Gmail email address to see if you've been approved or disapproved. Once you have been approved though, this is what you need to do to put adverts on your website. So let me show you how to do that now. So in order to place ads onto our blog post or website, what we need to do is go here to the left hand side bar and click on my ads. And once your website has been approved, this is what you should see. So then click on new ad unit. And we're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it Ad1. Now, as you can see, you've got here some recommended sizes by Google AdSense. So you can choose any of these if you like. The one that I usually go for on my website, so what I put on my widgets area. Let me just show you as an example. So this is my widgets area here. And... As you can see, this is the ad that has been placed on my widgets area here. And uh, this ad in particular is the rectangular 250 by 250 square ad. So that's usually what I put on my widgets area. It really depends on your website and how big your widgets area is. So you may have to play around with the sizes to see which one fits. I'm going to select this one here now. However, I want to point out as well that what you can do is you can also place banner ads on your website. So banner ads go right across like this, like a banner. And um, you can choose those here. So as you can see, it says horizontal banner. So you've got all of these different sizes that you can choose from as well to place banner ads on your website. So feel free to play around with these different sizes. I'm going to just go here for the rectangular. 250 by 250, so I'm going to select that. I'm going to leave this as it is, text and display ads. So that just means 
you've got text and some image here as well showing so text and display here all right so we'll leave that now you can also modify the text add style to do that click on the arrow that is pointing to the right and then click on copy and edit again just give it a name i'm going to call it add one and if you want to change the text color click in the middle of the um, color box here and then choose whatever you fancy i'm just going to go for purple just for demonstration purposes and you can really play around with all of these different colors i'm just going to leave it as is and save if you want you can choose backup ads which means that if a suitable ad is not available for your website um, YouTube will choose some backup ad for your website. I usually don't choose this option. I just leave it as show blank space. But it's really up to you and what you want to do. And then once you're happy, save and get code. All right. So what I usually do is change this option to synchronous rather than asynchronous. I find that whenever I choose asynchronous, it doesn't display, the ad doesn't display on my website. But sometimes it does display. So you may have to again play around with both of these options. I'm just going to copy this and then head over to my website. So as you can see, this is the dashboard area of my WordPress website. I'm going to place the ad as a widget again on the widgets area. So I'm going to go to appearance, widgets. Let's hope this works. Okay, so I'm going to select the text option. I'm just going to drag that up to my right hand side bar right to the top here. And I'm just going to place it there. Okay, next thing I'm going to paste the code that I've just copied into this area into this blank area here. I'm not going to give it any title. And then I'm going to save. So let's just close that here. And if I refresh, And voila, here is the advert displayed on our right hand side bar. Now, if you're having difficulty here and your advert doesn't show, what I recommend is trying the asynchronous code and just copying that into the widgets area. If it still doesn't show, then just give it a couple of days. It could be that, you know, it just takes some time for it to show. And also keep checking your Gmail email address for any updates that Google AdSense might be sending you. If you want to put the advert into a blog post like this one, for example, what you need to do is again, just copy the code and then go to your blog post. Let's say I want to put it in this one here. I'll just go to edit post. And then what I need to do is instead of visual, I click on text. You simply paste the code wherever you want to put that advert and then you click on update and now if I view my post it should show in my blog post as well okay so if I scroll down here it goes so here is the advert now displayed in my blog post although I do recommend putting a banner ad in this area here I think it looks a lot more professional so this is how to set up a Google AdSense account for your blog post and your YouTube channel. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more tips on how to YouTube and website better. Also, if you need more guidance and support, one-to-one -one support maybe on how to grow your channel faster, how to reach a targeted audience, quickly or generally how to create a successful online business then do go to naturalvita.net and check out my business school live your purpose anyways thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video bye bye